morning. This is Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. We start here where we start most days. Bitcoin. Bitcoin has had quite a crash over the weekend. It's come from 63,000 all the way down to 49,000. Um, so that's a little over $10,000, so to speak. It has bounced here. It's gone from 49,000, I believe was nine. No, 49,443. So it's gone up 5,000 since the bottom. We'll see if that remains as the bottom. Similar action in Ethereum. We're not going to go there right now. We're going to go over, take a, well, we're going to take a look here. We've been telling people if you build up your wealth over a number of years, you should protect that wealth. Uh, you never lose money in this type of account. It goes up, goes up. And it goes up when the market goes up. But when the market goes down, it does not go down. Uh, beats index investing by about 5% per year. And we've been saying there's about 25 to 45% bonuses in these type of accounts this year. So that is a story there. Now, let us go over to our dollar chart. Dollar index is down. Big, big gap down. Trying to fight back. We'll take a look at that. Metals, big gap down in metals. Gold, we've been telling people about, we'll see if we got close to um, 24.93. We said it would come down to 23, um, but it's down 4.4%. This uh, uranium is down about 4%. A couple of these stocks that is bounced off the 200 day moving average down 3%. You look at the copper index, copper index down 2.44%. So that's the story there. Take a look at our fix has just skyrocketed this morning, as one could imagine. Went up to 65, uh, 65.73, so way past the uh, our target for the week and it has pulled back some. So that is the story with the VIX. Look at our bond yields. Bond yields fell. Uh, I'm trying to fight back a little bit, but um, up eight cents for the now on the 10 year down to 3.8%. And a 20-year falling, still in negative territory, down 0.37 to 2.98%. S&P 500 is trying to fight back a little bit here, off 2 and a quarter percent. Uh, let's look at um, NASDAQ. Dives to its 200-day moving average down 2%. Equal weight is down 1.61. Equal weight in the S&P. Fighting back. And let's take a look at the IWM, the small cap index. Fell to its 200-day down 2.8%. The Dow Jones as well. So our word of the day is pleach. Pleach is our word of the day. Entwine or interlace to form a hedge. A hedge is what you needed this morning if you stayed in the market. Winter is the optimal time for pleaching your trees. So that is a story there. And we go over here to the S&P 500 heat map. We can update it a little bit. Um, looks pretty ugly. There are a few semiconductors that are actually um, moving up. The IPO A Lab um, continues its kind of bounce from this bottom. We can see K is the our stock of the day. And we don't really have an ETF of the day for this morning with the ugliness. So we're going to go back to our charts. 
go to the news. CMG. Chipotle mentioned positively in Barron saying that after the shares have fallen 13% past month, after a 51, 50 to 1 stock split, the stock's subsequent decline looks like a buying opportunity. Sold off a little bit this morning and they're bouncing. Privately owned Mars, whose candy bars include M&Ms and Snickers, is exploring a potential acquisition of Telenova. So this is the reason that is going up this morning. Lockheed Martin, upgrade to outperform from sector performance, RBC Capital, as it believes investor sentiment is improving. On to financials, Berkshire Hathaway A reported a jump in operating profit earnings quarter two after tax operating profit rose 15% in quarter two. They had a big gap down. And um, they're trying to fight back to get to the 50-day moving average. Robin Hood upgraded to neutral from sell at City Citigroup, noting shares finished down 12% on Friday given the potential impact from lower rates. They're bouncing, trying to get above the 200-day moving average. On to healthcare, Moderna downgraded to sector perform from outperform, cut target to 90 from $125 off 2.75% onto technology, media, and telecom. Apple shares tumble after Berkshire Hathaway cuts 50% um, of their holdings in Apple. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway's cash levels surged to a record $277 billion on June 30, up from $189 billion. Uh, so they're preparing for to buy things at the bottom, I'm pretty sure. NVIDIA shares drop around 10% after report information said design flaws could cause a delay of three months or more in the launch of NVIDIA's upcoming artificial intelligence chips. They're bouncing, get back into the buying zone. Um, they did, uh, Nine, they went down to 91, so they're up about 10 bucks from their low. Square space downgraded to neutral from outperformance. Mizuho, so they're pretty flat. It looks like they can got a cash offer over here, so down 0.23 percent. And that is our news of the day. Nova is the stock of the day moving up. There's a couple other ones. This is Hamilton Beach Brands, up 21% on about a thousand percent recent earnings. New Oriental Education uh, moves us up a little over nine percent. Uh, Sonic Automotive up 8.8 percent. Operates 108 dealerships, 16 collision repair centers in 18 states. Earnings came down 20% year over year quarter, but it's up 8.8%. And finally, ZTO Express up a little 5.8%. And that is a story there. Let us take a look at ELAB. Had a nice bounce up 6.21%. It was only up 3% earlier, but it is continuing to jump. Earnings are tomorrow. And Braille is our IPO of the day. Was up about 3% a little earlier, but it's only up 1% right now. So that is a story there. Not much else to report. We had gone to cash on Thursday and Friday. This looks pretty ugly. Big potential for this to be a pretty big downdraft uh, with the bear market ahead of us. So that is a story. Definitely protect yourself as much as possible. So that is our story for the day as the markets are in total turmoil. We'll um, catch up with you later. Mornings with Michael brought to you for information and educational purposes only. Um, trying to help people make their money work harder than they do and
everybody have a great day.